Hello, fundraising family. I'm Eric. And I'm Julia. And today we're going to talk to you about how to save the planet. Because it's important. And it's the only one we got right now. That's <laughs> true. So why is it important? First things first, we have a couple facts about what's going on on the planet today. So as many of you probably know, if you've been following the news, for a couple years now, there's been devastating wildfires in California. And right now, it's burning to the ground as we speak. As we speak. Also in California, it seems like there is random power outages occurring all over the state. And globally, emissions continue to rise. Speaking of rising, there is heat waves and flooding that continue to occur all over the planet. Yeah, it's almost November and it's like 90 degrees outside here It'll in Florida. It'll be next week, but still, that's hot. It's hot. Super hot. We're really November. hot. November. Woo! Hot! So what can you do to fix these things? Well, we got some ideas for you. So to save the planet, we're going to need everybody to take part. This is governments, corporations, and nonprofits. And you are a nonprofit or a fundraiser. So how can you help out? Very easily by raising awareness. The debate on climate change is basically over. Governments are recognizing it. Scientists are finally recognizing it. And we have a guide to help you to be a green liver. So make sure you click on that guide down below. And I have a picture right now. You can see it. You can even see me right now. So I don't know why I'm doing this. So here's also a couple ideas on what to do to be green. So one of the things that you guys can do to help save the planet is to recycle every single day. And one of the ways you can do that is by doing a shoe drive fundraiser. The average American throws away 81 pounds every year of clothing and shoes. And shoes alone can take 30 to 40 years to biodegrade. And 70% of the people in the world use repurposed textiles. So how can this help you and how can this help the planet? Well. You can do a shoe drive fundraiser for your school, church, nonprofit, community organization. Anyone. For yourself. Anyone can do a shoe drive fundraiser. Yep. You collect gently worn used and new shoes, and then we will write you a check for the shoes that you collect, and we will send the shoes to our micro enterprise partners in developing nations. Yeah, so it doesn't just save you and the planet, it also helps save a family that's in need. And your shoes are kept out of landfills and they're repurposed by micro entrepreneurs and they give people the opportunity to travel in developing countries because the majority of people don't have cars and they have to walk. Another simple way that you can help save the planet is to wear a sweater in your home or wear less layers if it's too hot. By keeping emissions down and keeping your AC set at a certain level, usually 72 to 74 degrees, you help out the entire planet by using less power, which helps with the emissions from the power plants. Speaking of reducing emissions, another great way that you can help is by ride sharing or walking to work or using Ubers or Lyfts. Bikes or skateboards or what are they called? The wheelies? Wheelies. The, uh, wheelies, if you want to use wheelies. Oh, the shoes with the wheels, the wheels on in them? The back. Oh my god, I used to have those when I was a kid. That's yeah. how I used to grocery shop. Yeah, wheelies. Whatever, skates, whatever you want no, to use. No, they're called Heelys. 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 You do wheelies on Heelys. Shout out to Heelys, my childhood. <laughs> Another great way to reduce the carbon footprint is to reduce plastic. So go to work, go to school during the day, bring silverware from home. Don't use plastic silverware. Don't use plastic bottles. Don't use plastic cups. Use bottles like this. It's a swell bottle. My water stays cold from today until tomorrow. It's great. You can also get metal straws. You can bring your own cup to wherever you're going. There's a billion ways to help reduce plastics. And another thing you can reduce is junk mail. Everybody gets junk mail. It's super annoying, whether it's to you or to your neighbor or to somebody else, and you just happen to get all this junk in your mailbox, it's annoying. An easy way to get rid of it is there's services like Trusted ID that can help you to reduce the amount of junk mail you get. So you're saving trees and paper and plastic, because a lot of those are laminated. Either way, it helps out the environment. And speaking of planting trees, a great way to help is to plant trees. So your school can have a garden, or your community organization can plant some trees. Another great way to get involved with planting trees before the new year starts is by donating to Jimmy Donaldson's YouTube campaign, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know him as Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. So how's he gonna do it? All through donations. So you yep. guys can go online, you guys can make a donation to the cause, get behind it, and other celebrities and a bunch of other YouTubers are getting behind this. So go on, make a donation, and do your part to help plant more trees. Or just plant a tree. In your backyard. Wherever, just put up a tree. Now, another easy way to save the environment is to look for Energy Star appliances. Everybody has appliances in their house, be it a microwave, a toaster oven, or a refrigerator. Make sure you look for the Energy Star logo because it does help reduce the amount of energy you use. And speaking of that, if you've never heard of phantom power drawing, it's a really big thing that a lot of people aren't aware of. Whenever you have an item plugged into the wall, whether or not it's on, it still draws power. So to reduce this from happening, you can look for phantom power strips. Go on to Amazon, go to Best Buy, go wherever. By buying them, what it does is it actually shuts off power to any appliance that's not actually on and used using power and it helps reduce your carbon footprint and saves you a couple bucks every month. Hopefully these ideas helped you out and hopefully it will help out the environment. Hopefully it will save our planet so we don't have to be like in Wally. 
So I'm gonna live in one of those little seats. That looks weird. Well, I'll have a bunch of links down below to help you guys get started with reducing the carbon footprint and doing your part in saving the planet. In saving the planet. Because we are Captain Planet. No, we're not. But anyways, my name is Eric. And I'm Julia. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. We. Uh, so. It's sweater weather. Just not in Florida. Not in Florida. <laughs> Other YouTubes, YouTuber planting trees. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. I believe in you. <laughs>